How's it going? My name is T-Roy. I'm Ron. And we're just two dudes. Uh, two guys and one grill, right? Is that one, right? one grill. One grill. 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 <laughs> Listen, uh, you know, on Facebook every weekend, one of us will cook and we'll tag the other one in. Ha ha, look what I made this weekend. Uh, people keep saying, hey, you know what? You two need to get together and you need to make your own little barbecue series. So I'd hit up Ron, think, hey, Ron, you down for this? And 37 emails later, we're finally here. We had to negotiate a contract. Yeah, we did. It was. It came down to what are we going to name it? You know, which was two guys and one grill. Grill. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is going to be our very first week, and you always pay homage to the masters. And I tell you what, Ron has me beaten. Well, because he's like 87 years old. So you've obviously had more experience than I do in cooking. <laughs> Am I lying or what? <laughs> I have no response. <laughs> well, I think that's I, the only time you'll hear that is I have no response. The, the first part of barbecuing, though, and and this is very important, is you must have a drink. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. So we have ourselves uh, some Jameson right here. Go ahead and get started. Yeah. Uh, and Ron doesn't believe in cutting Jameson, which is fine by me. So. Just get in the mood. That's yeah. right. That's right. So first off, it's going to be our very first video. What are we? Uh, what are we making? We're going to make chicken bombs. Bombs. Yeah. Bombs, B O M B S, okay. yeah. Not out of chicken, and I know this near and dear to your heart, chicken breasts. Well, yeah. <laughs> best part of the chicken, yeah. Yeah. Um, And a very easy recipe involves uh, chicken breasts, uh, jalapeno peppers, some cream cheese, some bacon, of course. Most everything needs bacon. Need bacon. Some seasoning, and Frank's hot sauce. What does Frank's hot sauce not go with? Exactly. So uh, we got everything set up here, and uh, first thing we did is you know, we went to the grocery store and, and got everything. And I noticed that you have actual uh, uh, meat from the butcher block versus buying it already prepackaged. Is there a reason behind that? You know, I, I just feel more confident be, being able to pick out the breast I like. Yeah. And I like them all, by the way. <laughs> um, and you know, I, I look for larger chicken breasts. And uh, they're they're just they're just easier to fillet and work with. Sure, you know, sure, so. more room. And then uh, now, as far as bacon, uh, we didn't we didn't do the butcher block for bacon. We no, just bacon, you know this type of thing, bacon is just it's just bacon. You just need the fat to to drip down over the chicken breast. Mm, that sounds good too. Really yes. Yeah. So how do we get started? Well, uh, first thing you do is you have a shot of Jameson. Okay, and then uh, we'll set this right there. With the chicken breast, you want to uh, butterfly the chicken breast. So we're going to just hope we don't cut a finger off. He still has all ten fingers, by the yeah. way. Yeah, so he's... there we go. Let's <laughs> we'll set it like that. We're going to take a little uh, wax paper. And a lot of people will uh, either use a chicard, which is a sharp knife to tenderize meat, or they'll use that vicious hammer, yeah. which... It's terrible, I think, but I use a rolling pin because with the rolling pin, you can feel the meat break down, which means it's going to accept seasoning and, and marinades a lot easier. So we just roll over that a few times. Hold that door. Yeah, got it. Okay. Okay. You know, and one thing I'm noticing about this is it's not, you know, you talked about the jacquard or that hammer thing, and it kind of... You don't know what, what you're cooking when it's all said and done. Right? Right. Walk in. Yeah, it's this still looks like chicken. It's you know? pretty brutalized. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay, we'll just do the other one. While we got it going here. And now, while we're doing these, every week we'll also be giving you uh, a side dish to go along with it. So after he's all done, I'll go ahead and uh, provide a side dish for you, which we're going to do stuffed mushrooms tonight. We're going to do side for that. And we actually had a fight over that because Ron wanted to do stuffed mushrooms too. But mine are better. Wouldn't much of a fight. Well, no, it wasn't. It was like, yeah, you do whatever you want. I felt so, bad for it. Okay. All right. So there we got our uh, chicken breasts all uh, butterflied, beat, and, butterflied and, uh, and rolled. Rolled. Thank you. Yes. So <laughs> what we'll do then is we'll just get a large bowl. And you don't want to use plastic with this. Why is that? Uh, because it'll stain. Really? And your wife will kill you. You don't want to put Frank's hot sauce in a plastic bowl. Uh, it's some nasty stuff. So we'll just, uh, we don't need that little dropper thing on there. We're going to use a lot of this. Well, and that's just really for newbies anyway. Yeah. We call those uh, chicken bomb virgins. Chicken bomb virgins. Yeah. And you just 
douse it, and we're going to stick that in the fridge overnight. Let's go ahead and show. I mean, he, he doused it pretty good. So it's, you want it all covered up, and when we pull it out tomorrow, that's going to be nice and tender and, and real juicy with the Frank's hot sauce. And you can also use Italian dressing, and uh, people in my age group will remember Russian dressing, which is really good for that. Yeah, I know. I've never heard of it. I'll be... <laughs> Yeah, he's not that much younger. Than so that. this is your whole marinade. This is it. That's it. Frank's hot sauce. Oh, we'll do the rest uh, tomorrow morning after uh, this marinade's overnight. All right. So there you go. That's just how you get it started. You let it sit, and uh, when you say overnight, I mean, is there a specific time that you're looking for, or is it just kind of uh, let it go until? Tomorrow? You know, the, part of the fun of all of this, Travis, is experimenting, and sure. there's really no rules. You can do whatever you want because it's your food. Right, right. So you know, overnight is fine. If it's 12 hours, that's good. If it's eight hours, 14 hours, whatever. Okay. Fair enough. So we'll throw that in the fridge and then we'll all get started on the uh, little side dish. You betcha. All right. Okay. Cool beans. Plastic wrap is Satan's sealant. It's just the nastiest stuff. You know, I mean, you, you, can, you can pull it out. Press and seal. Buy that press and seal stuff. Press and seal. What's that? It's plastic wrap except like on steroids and it doesn't, it doesn't do this crap. Oh, here we got it. <laughs> yeah, got it. Thank God Liz is out of town. So I think yeah. she would beat us both if she walked in. Right? Well, that's her kitchen, and wow. uh, I'm just far over it. So. so we'll just. Another cool thing, if you wet the the lip of the with anything, the bowl. You're using you're, bacon. That is so awesome. Well, bacon is good for everything. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> everything sticks better. Or all your plastic wraps will stick better when the outside is a little wet. There we go. I suggest press and seal. Yeah, you know I'm a bacon guy, so. No, no, I'm just saying for your plastic wrap, it, you'll love it. Once you once you get that, you'll never want this crap ever. Again. I've never heard of it. It's really. It must be a generation. It's like saran wrap press and seal. I think is what it's called. Or whatever. It, it's it, it's only like five years old. I mean, well, no wonder I haven't heard of it. Guess you're not hitting. Okay, you're going right. in the fridge. Go on in the fridge. All right, right there. Okay. That's why you never use saran wrap. While we're waiting for all his stuff to sit overnight, I'm going to go ahead and get started on a side dish. And the way we decided to do this is one of us each week would cook a, a main dish and then the other person would cook a side dish to go with it. Uh, for uh, the chicken bombs, I'm going to go along with some stuffed mushrooms, which is actually very, very simple. You just need some bacon, uh, you need some onion, you need some green onion, you need some, obviously, mushrooms. And then we got this, uh, it said imitation crab meat. Is that what it said? I'll put these gloves back Don't here. Don't worry about it. Somebody cut themselves. Well, they were chopping here. Which, which is a good point to bring up. Always have sharp knives. And know you're working with sharp knives. I had to wear a glove because even with the band-aids, which, by the way, thank Kale. Or, Kale, thank you very much. I stole your band-aids, but uh, I was still bleeding all over the place. <laughs> it's like, he's over there shaking his head. Shaking it's hard to get good help. It is. <laughs> uh, you also need some cream cheese, obviously, is how it's going to go. Now, stuffed mushrooms are actually really easy to do. Are you ready to cook? I am ready. Well, almost. Okay, I've got my Guy Fieri hat on. We're ready to go. <laughs> Does your wife make you wear that when you go to bed at night? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. Did you? I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> you should see what he's wearing down below, too. The carpets do match the drapes. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going uh, to take our mushrooms. I've already cleaned them off. Make sure you clean them off. You know, you usually get little chunks of dirt, even if they come in, in uh, little boxes and everything. We're just going to go ahead and pop these things out right here. You don't have to get like too into it, but you just basically want a nice little hole, I guess. You know. A hole goes well with breasts. And then uh, we're going to do it to all four of these. Now, usually what I'll do is I'll buy a package of them. And what we think, 12, about a dozen or so mushrooms comes in one of those little packages? Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, for the purpose of this thing, we only got four of them, which is no big deal. Uh, as far as bacon, it's usually a whole thing of bacon. Uh, a whole thing of cream cheese, a couple of green onions, you know, all of this to taste. Uh, How much is it a whole thing? thing? I, you know, you know how you go out and buy it, it's a whole thing. I don't know. Like 12 or 13 slices of bacon, I mean, it depends on how many, you know, sometimes you get 11, sometimes you get 14. But, uh, you know, green onions, I don't know. Just a couple green onions. 
Measurements are for wussies, is how I look at it. So. And then we got crab meat, and imitation crab meat, is that what it is? It tastes like crab. There's no way to know them. For our purpose, it's going to taste good. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Uh, you can get these actually in little freeze dried packets. You can get them up at. Uh, it came from an imitation grocery store. Yeah, no, this actually came from the grocery store and it was in their butcher block, which got me, and it said imitation crab meat yeah. on it. But it was like sitting all night, so we had to buy it. So, uh, you know, all the stuff, I've already started pre chopping. You know, you got the bacon, and uh, we'll go ahead and cut this up. I can't believe you're letting me use your knife again. Yeah, back away. <laughs> again, I'm not Michael Jackson or did. I. I I got some blood. I don't know if you can see that. That little fellow's already drawn blood. <laughs> it's, uh, you damn, my knives don't do this. <clears throat> They're not sharp though either. All right. So it's basically you're gonna you know cut all this stuff up. You want it nice and small because you're gonna mix it all together here in just a second. And these are again very very easy to make. Uh, I've had so many people uh, when I make these tell me I don't eat mushrooms. You know, get, get them away from me. I don't eat mushrooms. And I shove one in their face and say, try it before you knock it. You yeah. Know, are you allergic to mushrooms? No. Then there's no excuse. So we're going to throw all the stuff into a bowl here. And again, this is, is that not really looking good? It looks, yeah, I would eat that. Well, and we do. <laughs> Usually you can't wait for the mushrooms to cook. And the mushrooms will cook a whole lot. And there is one more thing I need is uh, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, I'll get that. All right, and he's eating the bacon as it goes. And again, these are uh, these are good for. I mean, you know, even if you want to bring it out as an appetizer, we've done that quite a bit. We've actually made a whole meal out of just eating these too. And did you notice I quit cutting and started doing this right here? My hands are clean. This glove is clean, right? I can't okay, Liz is bugging me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I just see Liz. What? I mean. <laughs> So we're going to mix some of this in. Cheese. Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, whatever cheese you like. 34-year right, salesman looking for a job. 34-year-old 30, salesman? 34 years. Salesman. Oh, all right. Yeah, you passed 34. Jeez. A lot more than 34 years ago. You got uh, yeah, hair. <laughs> uh, you, know, you need what? Something to stir the shit up. Stuff Spoon? Up, right? Yes. Okay. Or a fork. All right, so we just want it mushy. You know, a good way to do it, which I didn't do, is to actually microwave the cream cheese for about 30 seconds. It'll soften it really good. If my wife is here. She'd be yelling at me for not doing it. We always argue about that. But the thing is, get it all mixed up, and if you spill a little, it's pretty good. It's it? all right. you know Part of the joy of being a chef. Oh, man. You never see a skinny chef, and if you do, don't eat their food. Because they're not willing to try it themselves. Yeah, it's no good. No? You watch any cooking shows on TV at all? Oh, all the time. What's your favorite? HGTV. Well, if I'm looking at the food, I like uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yeah. But Jihada de Laurentiis. Jihad. Yeah, Jihada de Laurentiis. That's her name. That you know, that's pretty easy on the eye too. <laughs> Andrew Zimmer in uh, what's the name of his show? Uh, I don't know, something about touring around the world, though. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. that's not the name of it. Well, not. it's, yeah. Anyway, right. diners, drive-ins, and dives is the kind of food we eat yeah. and the kind of food we cook. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, and that's one of the things, a lot of these shows they have them making stuff I've never heard of. And listen, I'm not a worldly guy, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I've never heard about there. But when, I don't like my meals to look all nice on the plate and you have your little swash and everything. I want messy, the, messier the better almost. Mix it all up because yeah. it's getting there eventually. Huh? Until the doctor tells me I can't eat that food no more. And then even after that, I'll still eat it. All right, so we have our little mixture together here. And it's uh, it's pretty dang good. I'm going to watch this munch on it. What we're going to do is we're going to take it and gonna shove it in there. All right, and, and get it all in there. Put it on top. It doesn't matter if the mushroom cracks a little. None of that stuff matters. Make sure it's overfilling because the stuffing is really what sells the whole thing. You know? gonna, it looks it's pretty good. It is pretty good, too. Wait till we cook these things up. We've got to cook them? Well, we're going to throw them on the grill, and, and you, want, you want to break down, you want to soften this up quite a bit, you know. Mushrooms, really? Okay. You want to eat them just like this? You can, I mean, you absolutely can, I mean, there's nothing wrong, you know, mushroom. Yeah, everything in there is edible right now. Yeah, absolutely, but we will throw them on the grill. All right, and again, you want, it, you want that stuff piled up on top of it. 
And then we're going to take some more of our cheese here. And we're going to be very liberal with it. Liberal. Liberal. There's an interesting term. The liberal for tea rolls. Yeah, I'm, I'm as anti-liberal as damn hippies. If you're a hippie watching this, thanks for watching this. All right. So there you go. And that's it. We'll throw it on the grill tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and let these sit overnight. There's no reason to. You could actually, like he was saying, you could eat them right now. You could... Uh, really? Uh, you, tear it out, man. Yeah. Oh. Now imagine that all warm and melted. Oh, that, that is really good. And you see how long, and what, what, what did that take me? Five minutes? Mm. There you go. And it's really Two hot. bottles of Jameson, too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already a glass behind you. I got Holy cow, that is good. Very easy to do. Uh, we actually have the complete recipe up if you miss all that. Sit right now at rock967online.com. I'll throw a link to it uh, down here on the bottom of the video, too, so you can go down there and get the whole thing. Also, do one for his recipe as well. So if you just kind of want to follow along and whatever else. But remember, we're just two regular dudes doing our thing. So what we're going to do is I'm probably going to steal one of these myself. It's good. Mm. 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 We'll check back here in the morning and we'll go ahead and get stuff barbecuing. Thanks for watching. Okay, um, we've got our chicken that's been marinating overnight in uh, Frank's hot sauce. That's the chicken breast we filleted and uh, rolled down with a rolling pin and some wax paper. Uh, we're going to cut up a couple of uh, jalapeno peppers. But never do this without safety equipment. Because uh, you know that stuff can be pretty nasty. You get it in your eye, you get it in an open cut. By the way, didn't you cut your finger? Hey, we don't need to bring that up okay. again, man. Let's keep on moving. Okay. So we'll just cut it lengthwise. It's kind of hard. Can you hold that? No. <laughs> I don't trust you guys. Okay, we'll cut it again. Clean out the insides. Stem off. It's very important you wear gloves during this process because you will pay the price if you don't. Maybe not gloves quite this big. No, I mean the little you know, little rubber gloves. You know you can buy them at a store for a couple bucks for a bunch of different pairs. Yeah. Like that box sitting back there. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, that's what I was looking for. It's like. Okay, I'm going to take these off. We're going to be here all day. Doing that. There you go. <laughs> Looks like you're getting ready to clean out a sewer or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he got those out of his bedroom, by the way. I don't know what's going on there. But when Liz is out of town, things get weird. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh don't bite jokes start. No, no, I love Liz. <laughs> okay, there we go. Coffee this morning. Ouch. You see yourself? Just about. Yeah. Sharp knives. Yeah, and you want to get all the seeds out of there. Seeds are seeds hurt bad. I mean, if you, if you really like really hot things, I suppose maybe keep a couple of them. But yeah, just. All this is going to get uh, wrapped up in a couple of chicken breasts. And again, on your marinade, you know, it's just however long you want to let it sit, right? Right. Eight hours, 12 hours, 10 hours, it doesn't really matter. Can you round up the cream cheese, please? Absolutely. This. And you can just tell by looking at these things, they're going to cook up nice and juicy. Oh, man, they just look good right now. Yeah. Let's see that. Toothpicks. And again, we're not professionals. Speak for yourself. <laughs> it's not off, I guess. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just going to mash some cream cheese in there. One whole jalapeno. And, uh, just go 
roll that up. Can you pull a couple of the dogs? I'm going to stick my hands in it. Let's see, I'm healthy. All right. See, there's nothing fancy about this, just like everything else we do here. Well, and I noticed when you grab the cream cheese, there's no measurement, just a straight yeah, some cream cheese. Throw it it just in. wanted it in there. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Now, we use uh, a few pieces of bacon on that. Nice and thick. In there. <laughs> Not an exact science. There's my phone. All right. Probably I'm not reaching in your pocket. Can I have one more toothpick, please? Okay. So you have that right there. And that's ready to go on the grill. Oh, man. That looks good. It's, uh, yeah. Maybe. So I want the cream cheese. You know, in this whole process, including what we did last night, I and mean, we're only talking minutes, you know, yeah, before we cook. Hold this one sideways, like that. Lovely assistant. Yeah, that's right. Oops. Come on. How about one more? It's the last one you're getting, though. Okay. Where'd you come up with this recipe? Is it something someone showed you? Did you find it online? Uh, yeah, I found it online. Did you? Yeah. Which, if you ever want to experiment, man, Google. Just Google. Oh, that's great. You. There we go. You just throw them on the grill like that and uh, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, they're done. All right. Now let's head out to the grill. Okay, we're outside right now and um, we're going to cook the mushroom, stuffed mushrooms and the chicken bombs on uh, my little grill, my Weber Q. Best little thing for uh, cooking slow. Uh, not a lot of BTUs, but it does a real good job of keeping an even temperature and not flaring up. Okay. There's my phone again. One chicken bomb. Another chicken bomb here. Boom, right there. And mushroom right there. Just turn that heat down a little bit. And uh, we'll come back in about uh, 15 minutes and check on everything. Well, here we are again. Uh, we took our uh, stuffed mushrooms and chicken bombs off the grill, and as you can see, they look pretty good. Just to go over what it is again, the, the chicken bomb is a, a marinated chicken breast that was marinated in French hot sauce uh, overnight, uh, wrapped around cream cheese and a jalapeno pepper, and uh, all of that's wrapped in bacon with a little of maple syrup drizzled over it. And I tell you what, the maple syrup it really adds to it too. It sounds good. Everything's good with maple syrup and, well, and bacon. What's in the mushrooms again? Well, now these stuffed mushrooms, and thank you, uh, Ron informed me that he almost ate another one. We only had four to begin with, but uh, the mushrooms are simply, you know, the biggest mushrooms you can find, portobellos really don't work because you can't gut them out, and I don't know, they just don't taste right. But uh, we got cream cheese, crab meat, or imitation crab meat, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we got uh, some uh, Parmesan cheese mixed in there with bacon, and uh, green <laughs> onion, and really got a bacon. bacon. Uh, green onion and regular onion too and again we ate them last night and you can I mean, you make them you don't have to throw them on the grill but they're so much better I try it now that you've added it you know on the grill there mm. <laughs> big difference right mm. that's pretty good I gotta try this chicken butter chicken How long did we cook these for? Uh, by we, I mean you. Well, I pull, I pulled it. I pulled chicken breasts off at 150. 150. And they rest, and they're going to cook a few more degrees. So mm -hmm. I suppose, suppose they come out about uh, 
155 or 160. You know, doing these videos, we're gonna put on a lot of weight. Oh, that's hot. It's good though. It's still about 145 on the inside. <laughs> Mm. So there you go. This is technically our first video. Only get worse, I think, from here on out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we have a plan now. So. <laughs> I really want to eat more. Uh, I got to take a break for a second and wrap up this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe. We got more of these coming. Just subscribe in the little subscribe box down there. Uh, you know, we'll do these posts. Uh, we'll also throw on the recipes on there just so. You know, you know, in case you don't want to have to watch us all do all this crap again, especially after a bottle of Jameson. But, uh, once again, you didn't save any for me. Hey, I showed up and it was halfway gone, so I had to catch up. Uh, next week we'll do stuffed pork chops and stuffed artichokes. Yes. So, well, it's going to be good. Oh, man, my mouth is already drooling. There you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you'll watch again. Thanks.